in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed don't think because you come from a rich family it means your mindset has been corrected no your mindset just has an advantage to be adjusted fast but you can still have a depraved mindset even when you are in the palace an example haman haman wanted power so much his mindset taught him that you must kill everybody there are two ways to rise climb a ladder or cut the head of everybody higher than you haman chose the other way another person's success is not why you are failing the sky is available for every champion please hear me my dear brothers and sisters there are many of you here who are about to start ministry don't be intimidated just do things right be inspired be challenged be provoked but don't let anybody intimidate you you will make mistakes you will learn on the job submit yourself to learning but as far as downplaying the grace of god upon your life is concerned don't let anybody do that if you are in ministry from whatever village or from anywhere god can use you and he can use you at a global scale business people listen rise out of the realm of subsistent thinking and begin to think globally are we together yeah. the law of mental transformation please sit down we have to hurry up let me jump to the third but i hope you got what i said in fact we should not just jump like that lay your hands on your head and in the name of jesus cause every negative thinking that has kept you down that is inconsistent with the word of god command it you this is the season where you must leave somebody is praying you are laying your hands on your head prophetically and you are declaring my mindset will be derived from the integrity of scripture everything the word of god has said i believe it may not manifest now but it surely will manifest hallelujah please sit down so when church is over if you happen to be trekking down the road and you see people passing suvs and all kinds of beautiful cars don't start insulting people out of anger and say all this mm -mm. just thank him because your mind is also driving are we together when you see a man of god highly anointed that god is using greatly don't just look for excuses to downplay what god is doing because you feel insecure no know that that dimension is also a possibility not just with your spirit alone but your mind when you see a prosperous person don't just get angry because it reminds you of the things you have not done be patient and know that if god did it for so 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 and so he will also do it for me hallelujah praise the name of the lord i've taught you here that the difference between you and anybody you admire the difference between you and anybody you admire is number one the quality of information that that person has access to the quality the first distinguisher of men is the quality of the information primarily spiritual information but then in addition all these other informations the laws number two the relationships that that person has to honor that heightened level of enlightenment because be fruitful also means be relational and then number three the kind and the level of grace that is at work in that person's life this is what separates people into cadence 
Stop looking down on yourself. Let me preach to you. Stop looking down on yourself. Allow the naysayers talk. But I want you to believe. This is not the first time he's lifting people. This is not the first time he's prospering people. No. This is not the first time he's making a man of God, a prophet, an apostle, an evangelist out of ordinary people. He's a master at it. This is not the first time he's lifting a nobody to become a phenomenon. This is not the first time. It's what he can do. Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do? Sila, think about what you just sang. If he created the universe, what is it about your destiny he cannot create? You're not the first to come to Abuja. You're not the first to do ministry. You're not the first to desire heightened levels of exploits. It is within his power. And in the name of Jesus in this season, by the quality of your mental transformation, you are breaking to the left, you are breaking to the right. To the point that people will come when they hear that you are the one that God has made you steward over that organization and the rest, they will doubt it till they see you. When did Saul become a prophet? And you will tell them by the Spirit of God, he was a prophet many years ago. You are only seeing the manifestation. There is nothing God has told me that I cannot believe him for. I learned this from God's servant, Bishop David Oyedepo. He said he can believe God for anything. For those of you who think you have seen what this ministry has done, we are only one step out of the cave. You keep watching. You will see the wonder walking power of the God of heaven. At the risk of sounding arrogant, I will say it again. Watch the wonder walking power. The law of mental transformation. Gentlemen, build your house here. Build a company here. Build the ministry with the Holy Spirit here. What kind of man of God do you see yourself becoming? As revealed to you by the Spirit, translate that reality here. This is the womb of your destiny. Don't expect delivery when there is no pregnancy, when there is no conception. This is where the miracle happens. The Word of God is that seed. But let it find a resting place in your mind and then give it time in as you cry you continue and one day your profiting will appear unto all and they who once laughed at you will now come to celebrate you and they will tell you the baby in the manger is now having a triumphant entry into jerusalem you will not always remain a baby in a manger ladies and gentlemen Have I wasted your time tonight? You can't imagine how much we have. Let's go to the next law. Are you learning this now? Do you know why I'm teaching you this and teaching you again? Because I want you to gain mastery. The series is about gaining mastery. So that with a surgeon's precision, you can diagnose what is wrong with men around your life. And, and not if you want to help people spiritually. You literally can create a routine from failure to success. Like a bridge. And connect the person for the average person who has been in church for three four five years did you know that if they hand over a new believer to you and they say raise this person and follow that person up most believers don't know what to do at best they'll say are you filled with the holy ghost no go for prayer department meeting on tuesday and discuss the remaining there and most believers are at a loss as to how to mature and mentor and grow and build people and if you are a leader here you need to learn this aside from being a spiritual leader you will be a leader in business in politics you must know how to build people building people there is a skill there is a science to building people mental transformation bring a weak and defeated people like the men of David in the cave of Adullam, submit them to a visionary leader like David 
and he will not only change their names he will change their destinies few years later they will be called the mighty men of david the bible says one held a sword and fought standing in one position he killed 800 people and the sword would not leave his hand that's mastery hallelujah one of the blessings of mastery is that the more you become a master at anything fear goes fear is proof that you have not gained hold of certain laws spiritually and physically there are those who drive these heavy duty trucks and you would think because they are driving they should be afraid you will see a tiny man and you hop you know into that truck and you will see him maneuver that truck with mastery and yet you see a learner struggling wondering whether the l in his car or her car has fallen and seeing people just shaking their heads and just passing while he's he's driving and he doesn't even know if he's moving or not law number three the law of value and contribution pay attention was striving for mastery the law of value and contribution your relevance in life will always be a reflection your relevance in the eyes of your world will always be a reflection of your value and your contribution nobody will applaud you for doing nothing ladies and gentlemen your relevance as far as living in this cosmos is concerned whether in ministry in business in politics in whatever field of endeavor it will be a measure of your value and your contribution say value please say it again say value say contribution say value say contribution please look up when you are sick who do you need in your life a doctor is that true when you want to build a house you need an architect am i right when you want to solve your security concerns you need a security agent until your life can match a problem and solve it there is no reason why people will consider you necessary in their lives don't downplay the law of value and contribution those in ministry especially most people think they are in ministry and people are placing a demand on them just because they are preaching jesus christ from a spiritual standpoint yes but from a standpoint of success from a standpoint of 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 um impact and exploits it is because you are making you are making a healthy contribution a man of god is part of the the systems put in place are we together now to help people in matters of faith and you are a contributor to nation building so you are not a nuisance to civilization let me tell you this if nobody is following you and placing a demand upon your life it is a report card to you that your value and your contribution is low or not there every service respectfully speaking i leave this place only on a few times but most times we we stay into the morning because after the service there are still other things you're doing counseling praying and doing some other things and no matter how you want to cut it the demand and the needs of the people is just overwhelming and you know that god has engraced you to solve that problem can i tell you this when all men seek for you it is because there's something you are carrying that has now been revealed look how dr miles describes it so excellently a mango tree does not have a signboard that brings people to it a mango tree does not have a worship team that charges the atmosphere a mango tree does not have ushers all the mango tree does is to begin to produce mangoes and remember when it is budding and doing all of these things people can pass but give it a few months people will stand there in response to the the quality juicy fruits on that tree human beings who want neglect who once neglected that tree can now climb the tree 
Look how people come early in the morning on a windy day to, f to pick the mangoes that are on the ground. Can I tell you, there is an explanation to your loneliness. I don't mean to play with your emotions, but for as long as you believe that people will be indefinitely committed to you without providing any notable value and contribution you are dreaming, think again. Nobody will follow you and invest into your life and destiny indefinitely, except and unless at the instance of value ever increasing value and contribution men of god let's listen carefully it will take more than just evangelism to bring people make sure where they are coming to is prepared enough prepared through the quality of sound teaching prepared through the demonstration of the spirit to solve real life problems is someone learning now how many of you know that there were businesses that were in existence 10 years ago and they've been etched out because they did not develop themselves to match the current realities that are in today's world loneliness has an explanation when you are left alone it doesn't mean people hate you is that they are determined to solve their problems and they have learned by experience that you don't intend to be part of that solution so they will respectfully create a group and keep you there there are many of you who have maybe restrooms or, you know, rooms in, especially in facilities like this. And sometimes they can put a little um, card there, out of service. Out of service means it has potential to be used. But right now you cannot use it. Some of you, that's what you have written. It's all over you as you move around. I am out of service. I can't contribute anything to your life. There are men of God respectfully who are carrying that placard. I want to serve Jesus. But I've not built my value. The spiritual content of my value. To be able to serve God's people with excellence and precision. Translating their desires into a Christian experience that is fruitful. How do you know you are making definite contributions because the demand will continue for as long as you remain valuable ladies and gentlemen have you seen some of you who watch not joe wild the, the 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 national geographic channel you find out that sometimes they show all of these videos of you know the animal kingdom and they come to the riverside to take water once they are full sometimes they ignore the river and the river never moves to look for them the river is confident enough to know that sooner or later they will come back man of god who told you there are too many men of god in nigeria you are just not anointed enough you've not just sat down to build capacity enough not from a competitive standpoint you have not branded your impact with such value and contribution. Can I tell you, when you become valuable, those who need you will find you. Man of God, who told you? Or I said man of God. Businessman, who told you there are enough malls in Abuja? Oh, Abuja people, they are, when I hear people say there are too many people doing this, I say no. In every industry, there are those who are at the highest levels. Are we together? Yeah. Last time I checked, there are about 3.6 people. I'm sure a lot more than that. In Abuja, for instance, let's use our city. Every one of these people, at least, even if they are fasting, they still break. Can I tell you this? Your value must be able to match the level of hunger and thirst that people have. You are not at liberty to just create any kind of value, refined or not. Uh -uh. Your value must be refined. If you are a man of God, it's time to go back and stay with the Holy Spirit. Don't just rush and say, I have what to offer. You preach two weeks and you don't have anything to say again. The people may not fight you, but they, the demons attacking them are real. The confusion in their lives, is not a, they, are not, they are not faking these things. They will leave you and look for genuine solutions. Are you getting what I'm saying now? This is very powerful. Do you know that there are, there are businesses in this, in this nation? 
Look at banks, for instance. Because of the role that they play in helping the economy of territories, it does not matter what location they establish the bank. You will always find people there because there is money inside. Respectfully, I would always give this story of um, NSAS. I'm, I'm now not, not, not to stir up. I'm a preacher. But then let me just... During the NSAS, you know people were sadly it's not it's not what i will encourage but people were you know jumping and boggling um storehouses do you know that there was no storehouse that said i am here there is rice inside me how people invented the skill to discern this discernment that looks very hard during that answers people found out and we didn't see where the ladder was but there were people at the top because some of the storehouses were hidden in places that you should not suspect that there's anything there bike men were following both sides of the roads carrying people and they were laughing people were helping one another even those who never knew themselves now let me ask you a question hold on imagine that your life becomes like that warehouse let me tell you they will find you anywhere you are don't tell me it's because I'm in Lube. Don't tell me it's because I'm in another city. No. When your value is high, carry genuine anointing and see what God does. Genuine grace to teach and build people. Doesn't matter whether you're in America. When it has to do with spiritual things, they sustain equal value everywhere. Apostle, how can I know that people will come to my store? Show me what you are doing there. Do you not know that excellence is a language? There are those who know how to speak it. If I speak Yoruba now and I ask you to stand in Yoruba, those of you who are Yoruba people will stand. Those who are not Yoruba people will be at a loss. Excellence is a language. There are people who know how to speak it. Competence is a language. There are people who know how to speak it. Skill is a language. The law of value and contribution. Am I wasting your time tonight? listen i deliver you by the spirit of god from a local champion mentality at least i am better than this one at least i am better than this one no your clientele is the whole world you are serving the power and the grace of god if you are a prophet don't sit down and be a prophet where they will suspect you and even those sent to hold your hand are afraid of you because of how number one you have not even gotten it clear you've not done your homework you are a man of god god grants you grace to be a revelator of scripture stay with scripture don't just say as the spirit leads submit yourself to to doctrine learn doctrine we must fight incompetence skill and contribution is the cure to this life of lack and whatever it is can i tell you when you become an active contributor to the lives and the destinies of people i give you this as a guarantee they will forgive many many limitations in your life to pursue the value that you have those days when we started there was only audio those of you who have followed the ministry for a long time God gave an instruction we didn't put any video except videos that were except videos that were maybe external ministrations and people would sit down and listen to the videos and sometimes they would listen to the, the sound quality you know may not be the best and yet they will enjoy it because of the value that they know they would find there it was Bishop David Oedeko who's who who said that when they started in Kaduna people were not coming and after praying and doing all of these things God gave him a few things and among the many things God told him is that when you bring quality life applicable teachings people will come and they will stay like a grass like the when animals come when they find a pasture they stay and learn I'm just using ministry as an example but it applies to every area you're a music minister don't sing as your relatives will clap for you no matter how you sound because they love you but you must be disciplined to tell yourself if i desire to sing his praises to the nations then i must be competent 
can i tell you this when you are pressing for competence don't let your tears deceive you you may cry but continue hmm. value and contribution i made up my mind that for as long as i live i will never stand before god's people to waste their time teaching nonsense and just wasting the precious time of God's people. Hear me. Some of you, the reason why you've not been promoted, take away all kinds of biases. You say, I've been there three years. You've been there three years, but you have not shown your superiors that you have due value enough for your promotion to be worthwhile. A lot of Christians, yes, I know that there might be biases of religion and culture and all of that. But let me tell you sincerely, if you want to strive for mastery, please obtain grace from God to be valuable. Obtain grace from God to be valuable. Obtain grace from God to be a contributor to the lives and the destinies of people. Man of God, by the time God uses you to bring order to the life of a confused person salvation to an unsaved person transformation to an ignorant believer empowerment to a transformed believer and you release the people like the foxes of samson it is impossible for you to stand and remain lonely not in the face of value i once had a vision many years ago and in that vision i think i've shared it here maybe once at least I was there was a long queue of people and I was serving them bread and the bread the bread was filled with honey it was the honey was even dripping and I was not the one making the bread I was just receiving it from a machine and the machine never stopped making the bread the bread would come out with honey and somebody would taste of it and run and go and call his relatives and say come they are sharing something here and people, some of the people who took it will go back and join the queue. And for some reason, they were looking at me. They couldn't see the machine that was producing the bread and honey. It was mixing it already. I was just receiving it and giving them. When I woke up, I said, I found the key. I found the key. It will work in Abuja. It will work in London. It will work in US. It will work at the Caribbeans provided it is a platform for value it will work let me prophesy to you that in the name of Jesus where you have been neglected because of your inability to have structured your life to provide value in the name of Jesus men will look for you kings will look for you nobles will look for you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please sit down Jesus had the boldness. Jesus the humble. Jesus the meek and lowly. Had the audacity to make a very daring statement. Here's what he said. I am the way. I am that valuable. He said, I am the truth. And he said, I am the life. Then he went further to say, no man come to the father except by me. You want to rout the father? Use every other method. You will still come back here. Joseph said, let the king look for a man who is discreet and wise. It was a polite way of saying, king, I dare you. Where were all the people when I was in the prison? Search round and see if you will find them. Can I tell you this? When God wants to lift you back, he energizes you to work on your value and contribution. And when he sees that you have done your assignment, that finger will lift you in a way that nobody will be able to come within that vicinity. That's how God honors men. And that's what God is doing for someone. When it was time for God to lift Joseph, he shot the heavens over the sorcerers. And it was now Joseph's time to arise and shine. Please fight incompetence and do not just be a receiver, receiver, receiver. When I talk of being valuable, I'm not just talking of doing things. You can be valuable by being a blessing. Whether through words, whether through actions, whether through whatever it is. Those days when I used to take, you know, um, then it was not Uber, um, it was not Bolt. You know, you can just take a cab, just call it cab. There was a particular driver, that man was so neat. He used to drive me to the airport. 
I would save his number and call him. If he told me he was busy, I would tell him, please, just release whoever. I will pay you double for that amount. He was so neat. Very excellent driver. Careful, cautious, trustworthy. You could send him to go and pick someone for you. Now, there were many drivers, but I just loved, and, and, and we had meaningful discussions on our way to the, to the airport. When he found out I was a man of God, true story, the next time I came, I noticed he was playing, um, I think it was Don Muen or something. He had gone to get a, a CD or something, like, at least his own contribution. Can I tell you this? Don't be angry and say people don't love me. Ask yourself, what am I bringing to the table? The table of greatness has many seats. But the rule is you don't sit down with an empty hand. You first submit what you are bringing. It is vetted by the intelligence of God. If it will serve and bless people sufficiently with honor, you are granted a seat there. Otherwise, you will be driven back to go and work on yourself. Can I tell you? I am sorry, but I have to tell you this. There are many believers who will still inherit shame in the days to come. Do you know why? Because many people keep claiming realms that they have not built value that can bring them into it with nobility and honor. I will get there colorful and it's bright and they keep dancing and life says show me the value and the contribution that you have I made up my mind that in every area of my life where the Lord would have me serve whether in ministry in leadership corporate life whatever it is I would be valuable and competent that I will never stand before anybody across the globe and not be able to contribute something to their lives if I cannot contribute intellectually most likely if the person is not born again there are demons Even if you are free from demons, most likely you may not be very serious with the Holy Spirit. I'm still there again. You know what it means to be Alpha and Omega? Go and find out the implication of that name. You cannot do without me. You can run away from me, but you will meet a need that will still bring you back to me. Hallelujah. Listen, I want you to make a covenant with your destiny tonight. That in the name of Jesus Christ... I will stop being the one who just claps for people with jealousy and shame. I'm ready to go and sit down. For some of you, you are complaining and say, people don't like me. Forget all those things. Try, stop trying to live a fake life, get in a house that your value cannot maintain. Go back with nobility from where you are. Start building yourself. Buy books after service. Buy teachings. Go online. Instead of browsing around, finding it out what is happening in people's lives who don't know you, settle down and get materials. Man of God, don't just move around telling people I'm a man of God, invite me. Go and sit down. Lord, what is the secret of fire? What is the secret to an excelling life? What is the secret to teaching with precision? How do I understand scripture? Number four, I've not taught this in this house because there is a separate series. My goodness, you will not want to miss that series. We're going to be dealing with a serious issue in the body of Christ. But it's, a, it's one of the laws of, of dominion that will help you if you want to strive for mastery. The law of authority. The law of authority. There is a separate series that is coming there. But this is very powerful most people do not realize that you succeed in life to the degree you are as powerful as your relationship with the authority that sends you you are as powerful as your relationship with the authority that sends you most people do not understand that authority plays a vital role in dominion and commanding mastery hallelujah in james chapter 4 and verse 7 apostle james was teaching us the power of authority and here's what he said submit yourselves therefore to god that is the first key recognize that there is an authority from when you derive your 
your own power and then with that consciousness resist the devil and he says he will flee most people just go into resisting the devil and they do not understand that the level of your submission to authority dr mike mudok will say authority seeks to provide three things in the life of any individual number one provision number two protection number three promotion the assignment of authority in the life of a believer number one provision number two protection number three promotion the law of authority long reading matthew chapter 8 i believe let me check it here matthew chapter 8 when you read from verse 5 to 13 jesus it was a story of the centurion the bible says he saw a centurion verse 6 let's hurry up so that we can pray the centurion came to him and said my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy grievously tormented seven jesus said unto him i will come i will respect your office and come and heal him let's see what happened verse 8 the centurion answered and said lord i am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof but speak the word only and my servant shall be healed what was the basis of his understanding for i am a man help me under authority stop there i am a man there is something i know about the power of authority that you are as powerful as the authority that backs you can i tell you when god sent moses moses said uh -uh, it will take more than skill to bring deliverance who shall i tell pharaoh has sent me daniel chapter 11 and verse 32 b here's what the bible says but the people that do know their god the governments that has sent them they shall be strong and shall do exploits can i tell you this life and destiny must ask you this one question who sent you in preparing my notes for this discussion tonight i just thought about how many jobs we have in nigeria and how that there are some jobs because of the sensitive nature of the jobs they will demand that before they consider you you have to bring a reference letter am i right on that you bring a reference letter from a very noble personality They believe that no one would just take his reputation on you for nothing. They would ask you questions. So they would say, bring a letter from a senator, a president, whatever, a director, or somebody, a civil servant at a particular grade level. Can I tell you this? It is dangerous to try to explore this realm of greatness alone. The authority that backs you, both physically and spiritually, matters a dear man of god in this nation when he was moving to go and start ministry he went to meet another senior man of god a father of faith in this nation and he said what one advice would you give me as i'm going now and according to him the man of god spoke to him in yoruba and he said here is my advice never fight alone you will be defeated you are as powerful as the authority that sends you Look at me, ladies and gentlemen. Are you conscious of the authority that you are under? What gives us the audacity to gather people like this? Week in, week out. We had a, a powerful time in Zaria over the weekend. You know, wonderful time of teaching, miracle service. And it was such a phenomenal time. What gives this audacity? The authority. When Jesus walked upon the earth, notice, Jesus never called himself Father. Go and read your Bible. Jesus never. They called him Father. They attested to the fact that he was one with, he said, I am the Father, I am one. But he never called himself Father. For as long as he was on earth, he acknowledged that there was Abba, one above him. The law of authority many believers are not able to succeed because they do not understand the power of authority can i tell you i hate to be a bearer of bad news but let me tell you 
if you just depend on the quality of your spiritual life alone to advance you your pace may be slow there are times you would need to outsource the, uh, the covenant advantage that comes with authority and make tremendous progress in your life while you grow authority is powerful when god calls men as individuals when god calls ministries there are covenants that he has with them that become the platform for certain possibilities to happen and you can tap into that covenant there are ministries that carry the covenant of wealth and prosperity you will see people come to that ministry even before they know anything about finances they start prospering because of honor to authority there are ministries that are prophetic for instance you would see a businessman would come into the ministry looking for business solution but in addition to that solution they will also carry that grace because it's an advantage every ministry and every genuine servant of god in fact it extends to every leader that god calls please hear me there are covenants and these covenants can become a platform now it can be idolized unfortunately we were suffering that now in africa but within the boundary of scripture if you understand the advantage that authority provides your life will be a sign and a wonder when it was time for david to go and fight goliath read your bible when saul heard about him he looked at him there were certain questions that saul asked among them whose son are you what tribe are you not not who trained you in the wilderness i want to know what covenant you are going to that battleground with when he stood before goliath goliath had their own gods that they worshipped even as a warrior but david came and announced the basis of his victory he says you come to me with your spheres and your bows but i come to you in the name the name of the god of heaven whom you are the god of israel whom you have defied can i tell you this there are times your skill can fail but the, the covenant of the authority you are under can speak to you and speak for you it is true the law of authority let's go to the next one i'm just discussing all the laws or some of the many laws of the spirit that you must be able to know and study in depth if it is mastery that you want to gain next the law of faith i've done an extensive teaching on this john 11 and verse 40 i tell you someone's life is changing this night in the name of jesus christ john 11 40 jesus said to her said i not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe thou shouldest see the glory of god so there is a relationship between believing god and seeing his glory i have taught extensively on faith here mark 11 22 to 24 jesus himself is teaching us a lesson on faith and he says have faith in god papa Hagen will say have the faith of god 23 for verily i say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass the bible says he shall have whatsoever he saith 24 therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest them and thou shalt have them say faith one more time say faith a combination of your conviction and your persuasion about god alongside your obedience your obedience faith in one word is obedience obedience to the scriptural demands that commit god over the affairs of your life not just obedience to anything obedience to the scriptural demands for everything you want god to do in your life there are scriptural demands faith becomes a definition the name given to your complying with the scriptural demands that commit god apostle i want to prosper there is a scriptural demand your assignment is to obtain grace to walk in keeping with that demand apostle i want to excel in life 
there is a scriptural demand please look up four times in scripture like you have learned here the bible says the just shall live by faith there are no guarantees in life precious people of god nobody will give you a guarantee anywhere your guarantee is your faith this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith man of god nobody is going to give you a guarantee that the next 10 20 years you will still be relevant in ministry nobody will give you a guarantee that you will still be alive by next week nobody will give you a guarantee that you will still be at the cutting edge of revival and the program of god it takes faith your conviction but i know whom i have believed the bible says and i am persuaded that he is able if I ask you what makes you believe that 2022 will still be a victorious year for you, don't tell me my uncle just became a senator. That's not a very accurate answer. Your faith. I believe that Jesus Christ is still alive. And for as long as he's alive, for as long as his word remains true, then I remain victorious. Someone shout and say, I am victorious. Let the devil hear you. I am victorious. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Catabranda Catacos, Catabranda Catapacotosco for Precateca Legata. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline 